Oh, it's a danger zone! Oh my goodness me, it's a danger zone. She's right into the danger zone. I haven't even got a chance to get lid back. Oh, it's happening already! The red back is fighting already. I haven't even said oh, it's coming out! Warning, this video contains graphic images of deadly spiders doing very deadly things. If you suffer arachnophobia or are triggered by seeing hairy, scary spiders, this video is not for you. Well, hi there. There is my wonderful redback spider who has beaten the praying mantis and also beaten a very bitey, bitey thing. It has also laid an egg sac and it looks like it is also about to lay another egg sac considering how fat she's become. Down the bottom of the tank there you can see some poop by Mrs. Redback. That's the white spots. Uh, she never touched the prey manis, which is quite amazing. A three day battle, but she never fed from it. But boy, oh boy, did she free from Mrs. Uh, body mouth down there. Uh, that was like a four day feast for her. So Mother Redback, uh, obviously she's pregnant. She'd be very protective of her patch now because she's got an egg sac. And what I'm going to do in this video is get straight into it. The meat of the sandwich, I'm going to introduce a one-on-one -on -one battle with Mrs. Redback and the beautiful orb-weaving spider who's tucked in down there. Quite a few people have said the spider there has got a great chance of taking out a Redback one-on-one. -on -one. They have a fantastic web ability and I've shown that in videos of these spiders as they catch their things that they like to eat. Amazing web action from those spiders there. So let me carefully get the spider in here into the spider tank here with Redback and we'll see what happens. Oh, okay, I've got her in there, and it's going to be quite curious to see what she does. Man, she is a stunner, isn't she? She's big, and oh, it's a danger zone! Oh my goodness me, it's a danger zone! She's right into the danger zone. I haven't even got a chance to get lid back. Oh, it's happening already! The red back is fighting already. I haven't even said, oh, it's coming out! It's trying to get out, it's back down. Oh my goodness me, I am freaking out. I haven't even got the lid on this container yet, and that orb spider has just really said oh, i'm here i'm here i'm here so mrs redback will be preparing her web with very sticky stuff because she feels someone's in a zone the orb weaver is uh just doing circuits in there going past dead things that might be thinking wow what goes on in here if there's been so much death i wonder what's caused all the death in here oh that's the danger zone again i can't believe oh, she's coming up at me she's coming up at me now she's down in that corner there, um, that's not a very good zone to be because it's right in the Redback's territory. Very hard to keep focus on this because uh, it is actually a fast moving spider. Uh, it sort of can and can't climb the glass, if that makes any sense at all. She's very fast moving. Just, uh, she's actually laying out some web behind her. She's probably very scared uh, being in there because she may know that she's up against someone who's quite, quite evil. Oh no. I wouldn't be there. Oh, it just went straight through that webby area. I can't believe that. I've got a sneaky suspicion she might actually have a chance of taking out Mrs. Redback. Oh, she can climb up. She's actually up on the top there now. Yeah, but she's, well, she's a bit heavy. She does get to the top, but she quickly falls down. Yeah, like that. In fact, look how much of the sticky web Mrs. Redback has got set up there. Yeah, she's quite clever, isn't she? She's having another attempt to climb the glass there. They're the sort of spiders that make giant webs in the late summer in Australia and you'll walk through your garden, you get one of those guys in your face and you wake up really fast. And there's a nice close-up of her. Really uh, beautiful spiders and they often change their colours to hide in the environment where they're living. Uh, at daytime, in their hidey holes, you basically can't find them. She's back over there on the Mrs. Redback's corner. Dangerous place to be in this tank, I can tell you. And there's another close-up of underneath. Isn't she a stunner, hey? It should also be a wonderful meal for Mrs. Redback if it turns out that way. I must say, um, what I'm seeing is a bit of mutual respect. I've seen that a couple of times when it's Redback versus something else. Now, a lot of people have said to me that if the spider is bigger than the Redback, uh, the other spider has a much better chance. And the old weaver there is actually certainly much, much bigger. There, Mrs. Redback. I can guarantee you that. That is a big one. Mrs. Redback Spider, she's very patient, isn't she? She knows when to strike and she knows there's some feed that could be a little bit tricky to catch. Now, my thoughts on this is Mrs. Redback will want to fight this out in her patch and she certainly got her patch set up. Uh, the Orb Weaver is just doing circuits of the tank and just finding its ground in there. But I think that thing on the stick there that Mrs. Redback has built up is going to be the death zone. 
The old weaver is still doing its thing in the tank, sort of going maniac. Uh, it's trailing web at its back there. It's trying to find out what's a good spot and a bad spot. I remember with the praying mantis, it was really more to do with strategy and a little bit of luck than really anything else. I wonder if it'll play out the same. I'll tell you what, if I was in there and I saw those dead critters on the ground there, I would be freaking out big time. The orb weaver is on a stick. Uh, what has surprised me is she hasn't gone into total defensive mode where they ball up and try and hide. She's actually been quite proactive in here. And she's headed back to the glass. And Mrs. Redback just waits and waits and waits. Oh, 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 my goodness, the orb has come in there. Quite a divisive strike right over the Redback. Oh, it's fallen back down. Oh, this could be nasty now. Uh, Mrs. Redback is there. Oh, wow, I can't believe the speed the old weaver went up that stick there. <laughs> uh, pumble the Redback, and the Redback is down there. Uh... Probably preparing itself for the fight of its life. Oh, it's coming up, it's coming up. Oh no. And the old weaver is there. Oh, whoa! Okay, uh, this is a, quite an even fight, I think. Orb weaver is standing its ground there, and the redback has darted right over the other side of the tank. Not sure what the orb weaver is doing there if it's feet. Uh, the redback is, well, just right over the other side now, over the other corner. If I do that, you might be able to see it right up. It's like corner versus corner. What is it with spiders? Always doing freaky stuff, aren't they? Often putting things in their mouth. I wonder what it all means. Mrs. Redback is working her way back. She's actually got quite a network of web in there. It's very hard to see because it's very fine web. Um, there she has a bit of sticky stuff, hey? Yeah, she knows her stuff, that one. She knows her stuff well. Just to stand off at the moment, she'd be getting vibrations of the orb weaver in her web for sure, and she'd be really uh, tensing herself up for doing a web thing which we haven't seen yet but I'm sure she's got a battle plan very well organized oh the old weaver has just come over here to Mrs. Redback's domain I'd say it's actually the dominant spider from what I'm seeing going on here and it's starting to try and climb the glass again oh wow that it's actually acting quite agitated now oh over the back there over the back there Oh! Another confrontation. In fact, it's chasing the Redback Spider. The Redback Spider is being chased there by the old weaver. Oh, Mrs. Redback. Mrs. Redback, you are on the back foot at the moment. Oh, another confrontation. Oh! Did there any web come out of Mrs. Redback there? But the old weaver has taken off. These are classic fighting spiders. Now, Mrs. Redback is down on the glass. I really think she's out of what is her comfort zone. The orb weaver is just there and having a bit of a break. Uh, but I'm thinking if uh, there's going to be a fight in the glass, I think it's going to fall the orb weaver's way. I'll tell you what, this fight is actually moving very fast. That's a very fast moving spider, the orb weaver. And I'm, oh, orb weaver's coming through, oh, but just doubled back then. So maybe we're seeing a bit of respect going on. Oh, 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 no! Oh, I thought it was over there for Mrs. Redback. She got the fright of her life, and so did I. <laughs> I wonder if being uh, heavily pregnant there is going to hamper her chances at fighting. I haven't seen her do her, her web from her back of her back legs, and she's actually just crawling over to where the orb weaver is. It has been very exciting uh, videoing these two, and the orb weaver is just above her. We'll start to creep in the frame. We'll see what happens here. She's got her feeling little legs out there. She's thinking, uh oh, I don't think this is really a smart move, but I'm here anyway. Oh, she just touched the back of the orb weaver, and she's standing her ground. Yeah, I think both parties have got a lot of respect for you. Oh, I don't know if that was a fall or an attack, but it scared the hell out of me. And the old weaver is climbing again, just climbing, climbing, but its own weight drags it down every time. And often after a climb, it sort of lays on its back like that, if its legs splayed up, and that'd be a fairly uh, good time, I would have thought, to pounce on it, uh, because uh, you might get a bite into a leg if you're fast. She just zoomed up the stick there, that's the speed she moves, that very fast moving spider, and she's going to the top again. 
Mrs. Orb Weaver is up on Mrs. Redback's stick, uh, really in the Redback's domain, and she doesn't seem to be getting stuck in that very sticky web, uh, which is a little bit curious to me. And she keeps licking her fingers like she's been the KFC, you know, finger licking good or finger licking fangs. Yeah, so I wonder what's going on there. I often see spiders doing that sort of stuff. Now the good news is Mrs. Redback has found a stick again down by the dead praying mantis. But the bad news is a uh, great big hairy eight-legged thing has taken over her home. And Mrs. Redback is uh, carefully walking towards the old weaver and she's always laying out that sticky web. Uh, mind you that might be uh, totally useless from what I've seen uh, and how the old weaver can just walk straight over it. The old weaver is still uh, tasting or licking or doing something sus there. She's not doing much at all. She's just hanging out. And Mrs. Redback is, uh, well, sort of chilling out in the same fashion. And the old weaver's just moved up a spot there. It's right near her egg sack. You'd think Mrs. Redback is not going to want to see that at all. I'll just carefully turn the tank here and get a slightly different perspective on this, which is hard to do sometimes, but uh, if I was Mrs. Redback, I'd be mighty upset right now. Just getting a nice close-up of that. Oh, the fangs and the spider legs. Oh. Just terrible looking, isn't it? Imagine getting caught up in that. Imagine being sucked to death by a spider. And the peculiar standoff is uh, continuing on. And it's been for quite a few minutes now. Mrs. Redback is edging a little bit closer to that orb weaving spider. Ooh, Mrs. Redback has just uh, come up and done a touch there. Not sure if I've got it on camera. And she's extremely close now. She could be coming in for a strike. I'm sort of wondering whether anything on the orb weaver is stuck in the redback's web, but I don't think so. I think its legs are all uh, independent and free. Hmm. Mm, it's a very, very curious fight, this one. Oh, Mrs. Redback is moving right up, right up close now uh, to the orb weaver. In a funny way, it's almost like she's there protecting her egg sack. And whenever there's movement, there is tension, there is tension. Oh, the red back is doing its things with its front legs. The old weaver has the manicness that it had before has gone. It seems to have taken its, you know, thinking, well, I'm going to live here now. I don't care about you, Mrs. Redback. I found a comfy spot in this tank, and I don't think Mrs. Redback's ever going to allow that to happen. Oh, there's been a big jump of movement then, uh, the old weaver freaked out. It took off to the roof and it's come back down. So it's certainly, um, it's certainly saying I'm here and I'm not moving. There's a nice shot of the back of the uh, very hairy old weaver spider. They are beautiful spiders when you take a good close look at them. Uh, very, very beautiful to look at. Now I'm just seeing the old weaver deciding, well, you know, I'm comfortable here and I'm staying here. Whew. Uh, Mrs. Redback's going to have to get this uh, hobo out of his own. And again, um, they are very close to each other. Mrs. Redback is slightly in the background. I'll just pull focus to her. And the uh, beautiful, hairy, scary orb weaver is up the front here. Who knows, it might be a marriage made in spider hell. Imagine if those two bred together, you'd have a giant spider that would take over the world. Mind you, I think we're looking at two girls here, so that's probably never going to happen. Well, the orb weaver is actually going around uh, and making its web everywhere. It's feeling very comfortable in there. That is, if it can sort of uh, not keep falling down like it sort of does all the time, but it's certainly getting a very good web network going in that tank. In fact, it's feeling so much at home, it's putting web up onto the stick there. Mmm... Very strange. Oh, okay, well, there you go. They walk all, all, all over each other again, but who's really in command there? I'm not seeing the Redback uh, do its classic Redbacky things at all. Well, <laughs> the old weaver has just done its classic fall back into the danger zone, but really, it's not a danger zone for it. One of those things you just don't know what's going to happen next, and when things happen, they happen really fast. Mrs. Redback has taken a bit of a lower zone there, and the old weaver spider, well, it's up near the egg sac. It's sort of become the surrogate mother. And the old weaver is there, I've just flipped around to the other side, and just below now, Mrs. Redback spider. 
And the old weaver is just going for a bit of a ride down the stick there. Ooh, I wonder what she's going to do apart from try and climb and fall down. And she's actually just to the side. Oh, she's coming over. She's taking the spot again. Oh, Mrs. Redback doesn't like it. Oh, did I see some web action there? I think Mrs. Redback is in that position to do web. I think she's had enough of this orb thinking it's mother and it's going to take care of it very soon by the look of Mrs. Redback. She's looking very ready to pounce. Oh no, she's just been bashed down to the lower level again. And the orb weaver is very commanding in the fact that it likes the spot where the Redback lives in this tank. Uh, Mrs. Redback has come up and she's actually quite close. Uh, she's just below. I think she needs to be above. I think her best thing is to try and be above the orb weaver and get those back legs and spin out some web. Mind you, I haven't seen the orb weaver do any attacking web at all. It's always scary when the spiders are on the move and mooching around and finding their ground. Now they are very close to each other there. Mrs. Redback is just there, almost side by side. It's quite bizarre to see. In fact, they are so close, they are almost touching each other. And this is like one of those standoffs that can go on for a long period of time. I've seen that often when I've had spider versus whatever. There's times when they just take a lot of time. Ooh, you just don't know who's going to make the fatal move. It's often it's the critter that makes the mistake. Uh, we'll end up uh, losing the battle. Mm, the old weaver did pull free. It was in a bit of trouble there, and Mrs. Redback is actually headed over to that zone. There she is there. And, uh, yes. Could be quite interesting, because I know the old weaver's gone. Oh, no, the Redback has darted that way. Let me just get over to that zone over there. They're sort of chasing each other around the tank, and the old weaver moves radically fast. In fact, they're very fast when they make their webs. A very, very um, high-speed spider. Uh, the Redback has just shuffled forward there. Yeah, it's a curious one to watch this one. Very, uh, very evenly matched, I feel. Yet yeah, often see the old weaver just sort of go up near Mrs. Redback and just goes by her. And she's come back to uh, Mrs. Redback's little uh, twiggy area right near the egg sack. Mrs. Redback has uh, moved just below there. I think in that zone there, if I was in the web there of Mrs. Redback's, uh, I'd think I'd be in danger. That's my gut feeling. And Mrs. Redback has moved a little bit closer, a little bit closer. I still think she needs to be above the orb weaver to have dominance over, over her. That's my gut feeling. Mrs. Redback is coming up for the touchies again. Mm, there might be another great standoff here when they do this. You wouldn't want to be uh, anywhere between those two spiders. Imagine what they're both thinking. They've probably got a very strong survival strategy uh, building up inside them. Mrs. Redback is really, really close. They're literally engaging their legs there. The old weaver made some moves and the Redback spider took off uh, to do some web maintenance. Yeah. Mrs. Redback is there. Whenever there's a bit of a, uh, say, danger time for her, she tends to be very cautious. Again, she's uh, over, or back sort of in her zone. The old weaver is down there having a bit of a taste of something that was sucked to nothing by Mrs. Redback. Now, to me, that's a, a dominant position for Mrs. Redback because she's in the higher level there. She could come down and try and entrap uh, the legs of the old weaver. She's probably thinking that or maybe listening to very carefully to what I'm saying there. Well, Mrs. Redback didn't have the domination for too long because the orb weaver has moved up and she's come up here in a bit of Redback fright. In fact, I think the orb weaver's got one of its back legs stuck there, the one over the twig there. It hasn't moved from that spot for a while and the Redback spider has any notion of that. It's going to be good night orb weaver. Oh, it just had its leg stuck and it just pulled free. Oh, it's weird to watch. It does get stuck in the web, but it has a lot of strength itself to pull itself free. And it's just going to probably get a plunk any moment as it climbs here. This is Redback is coming back to claim a spot there. The orb weaver's leg is, as far as I know, stuck on that twiggy part there. Now, if Mrs. Redback works that out, there's going to be a whole bunch of trouble very, very soon. 
I'm pretty sure she's stuck and uh, I know Redback Spider's just right for the perfect moment to come in and finish it off. And we've got another spider face off or leg off here. It could be frozen in time again. And again, I'm thinking it's Mrs. Redback's advantage, I'll be quite honest here. Mrs. Redback Spider is actually very clever. She'll wait a time and when she thinks she can get a bite into a leg, she will do so and then it's all over Red Rover. And there'll be movement like that. I'm sure the orb spider's getting in trouble in that web. In fact, I'm certain of it. Hmm. I and mean, the redbacks backs off for a bit. Yeah, she's moving over to the uh, area where the orb spider is and going and checking up on some old meals that she had during the week. Yummy, hey? Even that chicken leg in that one. And she's moved over to uh, take a careful look at Mrs. Orb Spider again. It's almost like uh, two best buddy spiders hanging out together. Uh, but I'm sure deep down it's not like that at all. Mrs. Redback has just moved into what I think is a very good position if she's going to do anything nasty. When I see that, uh, I definitely think Mrs. Redback's got a huge advantage at the moment. Your weaver has just moved and Mrs. Redback has actually moved up to her egg sack area there. It gets very close and then they just fall apart again. And again, I see the position where Mrs. Redback, I think, has the advantage. She's above the old weaver. She can trap a leg and get a bite in. That could be the game changer. So, uh, yeah, seeing this go on over and over, I think I remember the praying manus. It was the case of lost opportunity. You only get a number of chances, really, and if you let them go, well, you're not going to win. And again, Mrs. Redback has an opportunity to get a bite into a leg. She's very close to a leg. And all of a sudden it has flipped around, the orb weaver has the advantage. Uh, Mrs. Redback is down on the ground there doing some really strange stuff. Don't ever discount Mrs. Redback's spider, I'm sure she's got a grand plan to uh, get this orb weaver. It's no biting stuff, it's one of those standoffs again that can go on for a very long time. Now if Mrs. Redback is smart, she could get some web onto those legs there and try and attach it to the ground or something, but if she goes wrong... She's got the jaws of death uh, riding just above her. You know, to me it looks like she's actually cornered herself in there. I think she needs to be above the orb weaver to have any sort of advantage. Well, I'll give her one thing, she is within striking distance of the orb weaver's legs there. If she gets a bite into those, it could be the big game changer she needs at the moment. The redback spider has actually got hold of the orb weaver's leg there and in... On like ultra slow motion, slowly dragging it across into the area where she can get a bite in. Uh, it is done very, very slowly. She does have a plan and she's working at it at the moment. It's really spooky to watch. It's one of these frozen moment times, but in a funny way, it's actually not frozen. She's, she's got that leg. It's getting closer and closer to the redback's mouth. It is giving me mega, mega goosebumps. And again, I think the old weaver is sort of semi-stuck there. I don't know, sometimes it plays out as if it's stuck and then it just does the bolt. Now again, on the glass, another one of these frozen moments where both spiders aren't doing that much, but in a strange way, the redback might have the advantage here. And again, I think the old weaver is stuck on a bit of web on the glass there. It has these moments of getting stuck in the redback's web or the, the, the sort of stuff that it spots down. Um, but it goes into like a frozen trance every time. It's that leg there right in the middle of the screen uh, that is stuck on the glass there and down the bottom there -hoo -hoo -hoo, is Mrs. Menacing Redback Spider. Yeah, see the leg there stuck? I'm not lost. See, it's just broken free again. Oh, I can't believe it. And the uh, old breather is frozen in fright. It might be stuck on some web. I saw Mrs. Redback oh, spin off some web. It might be stuck again. Oh, it's just broken free. You can see it getting stuck and break free. It's important to see. And the old weaver is back in that zone that the Redback uh, basically lives. And look who's coming up to say hello. It won't be a very nice hello, I dare say. It's going to be a get out of my home. And I'm just keeping the camera rolling here because... Uh, this looks like the Redback's advantage, if you ask me. I've been noticing the old weaver getting stuck a lot in the spider's web, and I think it might be semi-stuck there again. If it is, it's a, a very troublesome place to be stuck. Oh, it's just broken free there. Um, but it keeps getting caught up in web. Ooh. 
Well, I'm starting to think um, the Redbacks web is going to be something that is going to make this or break this. Yes, it's difficult for you to see, but there's a lot of Redback web uh, strangled through there, and I think the Orb Weaver's having a bit of trouble in it. And again, the Orb Weaver has gone into one of those frozen moments, and uh, just behind, look who's there. And again, it's Advantage Redback Spider, and the spider's on the other side of the twig there, working its way towards the Orb Weaver. The Redback is there, it's doing, reaching out, seeing what's there, it could be coming in for a strike. It's always laying down its spotty web. Ooh, and the orb weaver's off again. Redback is reclaiming the zone there, and just above, in what is the favourite zone of really both spiders, is the orb weaver. Yeah, back to a zone and a situation that I've seen over and over. Another very tense standoff again, sort of advantage Redback spider, and the orb weaver is in that triangle where Mrs. Redback likes to live. If Mrs. Redback can work out a way of getting her fangs into a leg, uh, that's what she's got to do. But this battle is constantly moving from the stick to the ground. Um, very evenly matched spiders, I feel. And it's been going on for quite some time as well. And again, the Orb Weaver is semi-stuck in the Redback's web. It's advantage Redback spider. I'm starting to lose count of the times that little scenario has been happening. And the red back has a very clear opportunity to take a back leg there. Yeah, the, <laughs> it gets dark and it just pulls itself free. It's quite amazing to see, it, although it's sort of semi-stuck again. Red back is up to its old tricks again. There is the leg of the orb weaver. And I think what it does, it gets closer and closer for a bite. What I notice is the orb spider will wake up to this and will just quickly scamper away. Mind you, I think it is again caught in some sticky web. That there is like the handshake of death. It has just pulled free, but it's sort of still stuck on the web. Mind you, it doesn't last for very long. See, it's struggling there. Very powerful spider, um, but it keeps getting caught up like that. And I think that's going to be its demise. And the red back has uh, snuckled right underneath the orb there, who is actually trapped. That leg uh, that's going down on screen there is caught in red back web, and that could be a defining moment of this spider battle. Now notice, whenever the orb weaver gets dark, it goes into this strange spider trance. It's in one of the moment where it's sort of it's playing out as dead, but it's not balling up like I've seen them do outside. Uh, at the moment, it's red back advantage. And what's happening now is the orb weaver is trying to pull away, but that back leg is definitely stuck. Okay, so all that red back needs to do is apply some more web, get a bite in it, and then just wait for the other spider to die. Now it's been a spider battle like watching two fantastic well-matched sportsmen, I tell you. Uh, just watching for the final act, hopefully the play out. Uh, it's taken about an hour and a half in real time to get to this point, although you won't notice that by watching this video. The red back spider is just waiting for the perfect moment to strike. It must know it's in trouble because the red back spider is going to bite any moment. <laughs> Mind you, that could take 15, 20, half an hour, an hour. Who knows? And one thing I've learnt looking at bugs and critters is they don't take any cues like this. And action. And bite. They just ignore you. They just do their own thing. Oh, the orb weaver has just... Pulling away now, trying to pull away. There is a leg stuck there. The action has just kicked in after a great big standoff of doing nothing. And the Redback Spider really has the advantage there. Well, mind you, is the Orb Weaver totally free again? I sort of can't believe it. That's uh, freed itself. I don't know how. And the Redback's scurrying away in disgust. Mind you, it has just doubled back um, and gone straight back to go home. It was looking very threatening there for a moment. Still spotting web everywhere. Is that all Weber stuck, or is, what is exactly going on there? It doesn't seem to be... Oh no, it's moving freely. Freaky spider, it just gets stuck and then frees itself. And just like history constantly repeating itself, the orb weaver goes back to that favourite spot. I think it is stuck again, and the redback spider is just there. And again, it is advantage redback spider, but I've seen the orb weaver break out of this a number of times now. It's yet another one of those standoffs that can go on for all sorts of different periods of time. Not much happens, or hopefully I'll capture the action. She is a creature designed with perfect timing, and that's one thing I've noticed about her. 
This is killing me watching this. She is so close to taking a bite on a leg there, and she's moved in so slowly, it's despicable to watch. Occasionally the orb weaver will uh, do some leg movement, but it's playing dead, and that red back spider is so, so close. Oh, I think that's the bite! That was the bite! I got it on camera! I think that's it. I'm pretty sure she got a bite in there, and I've got a feeling uh, Mrs. Orb Spider is going to be all sorts of trouble. That standoff uh, to what I think is a bite, uh, that was about 20 minutes long in real time. Man, that was a killer moment. Sorry for the pun there. Uh, the orb spider has not moved since what looked like a bite. If Venom has uh, gone in on that bite there, uh, it's just a matter of time before the Venom starts taking effect and Mrs. Orb Spider becomes Mrs. Redback's next meal. Mrs. Redback Spider, what a class act. Critter after critter, we have seen her amazing skills. Since what looked like the bite, the orb spider has not moved, but I haven't seen the shivering, dithering legs that I see on critters if they get a redback bite. Now, I haven't seen a movement from the orb spider. I've got a funny feeling it's cactus. I'll have to peek in the lid here. I'm actually very curious to see what has gone on in here. Well, there's Mrs. Garden Orb Spider, as beautiful as she is. Let me just see if she is kicking on or whatever. Oh... She's moving, but has she got her strength, or is there venom taking effect? Normally I see like shivering, different legs, if there's been venom injected. I can't see any sprightliness from her, I can tell you. She's not trying to jump up the glass or escape from the web. Uh, she kept getting stuck on the web here. I think she's been bitten. I've got a bit closer now. I can't see the strength that I saw from this spider before. The leg that's got caught in the web is the one down there. Uh... Just a very, very different spider battle. I never thought it would play out like this, and I'm pretty sure she's gone. She's not putting up a fight, I can tell you, and I can't see her trying to climb the glass. Now, what will be curious with the orb spider is whether the redback spider will see that as a meal or ignore it like it did with the praying mantis, which is something that I just don't understand. Possibly another redback spider myth uh, blown out of the water. A lot of people said to me that great big garden orb spiders like we saw in this tank here as a one-on-one -on -one battle would easily take out a redback, well, maybe I've just showed you that sometimes uh, what you read or what you might think can actually play out in a totally different way, and that praying mantis down there is another classic example of it. Let me put this lid on, I'll have to do some time lapse because I think we got into things that happen in a very slow motion way when we get to this stance like this. Uh, I think this redback spider is just waiting for the venom to take full effect there, and this can play out for a very, very long period of time. Uh, so I'll get a time-lapse camera and capture what I can capture. Well, the time-lapse camera will reveal to us some fairly spider-horrific stuff and awesome stuff as well. And I think my son called this redback spider John Cena because it had such a fantastic fighting ability. There are people still arguing about the praying mantis kill uh, for the fact they didn't see the bite clearly. It was hidden behind a twig, that's my belief, and the redback spider bite can be fairly subtle. That's one thing that I've noticed in the spider tank study that I did. I'll almost lay money on it, that was a bite time, because from that point on, the old weaver spider had lost its zing, it wasn't doing the stuff that it was doing before. In fact, from that point on, it basically died. The redback spider in this video seemed to know it was up against something large, powerful and dangerous, and it used a strategy which was similar to what it used against the praying mantis, where it would sneak up to a leg on the spider in a very slow motion fashion. And I mean, it happened so slowly, you could barely see the spider getting closer. The way the orb weaver spider acted in the tank was a surprise to me for the fact it said, well, this is my home. And it kept going up to the little fork in the twig where the redback spider had made its home. I was quite curious to see. Maybe I set up the start of the video that this redback spider was quite large and she could be pregnant. Well, sure enough, and it happened right up in the corner of frame. I always found this to be a fairly elusive thing to capture on video, although I did get it uh, clearly once. She starts to weave her egg sac. This process takes between 20 to 30 minutes. It happens very fast. 
and then she'll lay like a ball of eggs, a clump of eggs, and she'll sort of manipulate those of her legs, and then she weaves more egg sac around the ball of eggs, and it's an incredibly strong piece of web structure that protects the eggs as they grow into little spiderlings, and that takes about four to six weeks. It really depends on environmental factors. It can be four weeks. I think if it's good environmental factors, it can blow out to about six weeks if it's a bit poor. And this redback spider had laid up the other egg sac about a week ago, so it starts to show you how fast these girls can breed up numbers, and they really do put rabbits to shame. The other peculiar part about redback spiders is they don't need males to have fertilized eggs, and it's best to read the wiki page about that, because this is Kitty's YouTube these days, and I can't go into certain topics and talk about things that happen in real life. So Mrs. John Cena is feeling a lot better now. She's flushed those eggs out of her system. She's quite a happy mum because she's now got two egg sacs and within another week she'll probably have three egg sacs. And it reminds me because when I find these spiders in the garden and we've crept into summer time a bit further, you'll notice that where the spiders are there'll be a clumps of egg sacs there quite often, maybe four or five egg sacs all from the same mum. So the big query is, does this redback spider feed from the garden orb spider that she's killed? And I think we're going to see an answer to that. But the big query is, and it still hasn't really been resolved, is why the praying mantis was never fed from. It was never really bound up properly and never fed from. And I probably need to connect to a fairly high-end entomologist to try and understand what's going on there because it's not the sort of thing you do a Google search and find out about. There's nothing wrong with the audience having their say about what was going on, but I think there were so many different theories about what happened you start to get lost in the fog. Look, people couldn't even tell me the sex, clearly, of that praying mantis. So sort of that's the problem with the fog of comments that you get on YouTube. In relation to what many people say about the length of these styles of videos, and you say to yourself, well, what I should have done was thrown these two spiders in a little tiny jar, and one would have jumped on the other one, it would have been all over in, let's say, four minutes, and you call that a battle, and what do you learn from that? Well, I think you learn nothing. I'm just hoping that what you see in the tank here was the great strategy between the two. For the fact that the garden orb spider went in there and thought, oh, I'm just going to take over, was quite a bullish move by it. And the redback spider was going to play a game of being persistent and going back to the same scenario over and over. And I think it was really important to see. There are many of those repeated moments that I dumped out of this video. You may have noticed it felt like it jumped a couple of times. That's if you watched it. But if I put them all in there, let's say this would have blown out to over an hour long, okay? But I think it's really important to see the big picture here because I know there'll be some people who want to see this in a proper context, okay? Sure, some people just want to see two critters thrown into a jar and they die within a couple of minutes. That's all they want to see. Other people want to see something where you start to see the interaction and gameplay. I think I prefer to show the gameplay. So yes, maybe as you've already seen in the time-lapse footage, the redback spider is feeding from the Garden Orb spider, and the inside of the spider has been turned to basically fluid, although when you squash a spider, all I see come out of them is fluid, but there's something about the venom that breaks down the insides of the spider even further. And every time I've watched this footage, and I've captured this a couple of times on various critters, I was just thinking what a horrible way to die being you know, sucked down to nothing by a spider. I can't think of anything worse. What I've noticed when the redback spider feeds from another spider, it'll basically use the legs as straws to suck the fluid. It might use a joint on the leg as well. It may go up to a part of the body or a segment of the body and use that as an area to suck from. But because this is shot in time-lapse footage, the peculiar aspect is, and you wouldn't notice this in real time, is it's like a bellowing action. You'll see almost a spider puff it up and then suck it. It's like a puff and suck action going on all the time. When I first saw this, when I was doing the spider tank videos and I witnessed this via time lapse, it did catch me by surprise because I'm pretty sure I've never seen this on those fancy nature docos. So this redback spider, Mrs. John Cena, has certainly proved herself to me. This is the last of the one-on-one -on -one battles that this spider does. I think from here on she deserves to go somewhere really special, somewhere really nice somewhere where she can continue on her spiderific life. And this spider tank, which was the one-on-one -on -one tank, was the split away when we left the other spider tank at about week 13. We come back and we take a look at the spider tank when it gets to week 16, which is the final week of looking at spider tank 1.0.
Well, I'm editing this video on the 12th of October 2017. It was shot like six or seven months ago. Oh, that was like last summer. And if I look at my backyard, and it is now halfway through spring because we're the reverse to the rest of the world, I can see the red back spider problem is as big, if not worse, than what I saw last year. Now, why is this so? Because I killed so many red back spiders and removed so many red back spiders from my yard. Why have I got an infestation that's worse than the year before? What I should do is turn my infestation into a farm and these spiders would make the perfect deadly pet. They're really easy to keep. You don't need to feed them too much. They breed in great numbers. The only problem, and it's a big one, you can't sit them on your lap and give them a pat. The one really nice thing my spider study has exposed to me is just how awesome these spiders are. Every time I see a redback spider now, I just don't say, oh, that's a redback spider. You know what I say now? That's a totally awesome redback spider.